Extraterrestrial groups were also contacting the governments, asking only to dismantle all the nuclear weapons and technology for mass destruction, and they will provide the necessary protection and guidance. Welcome, insightful viewers, to Science and Spirituality. This week we present the conclusion of a two-part series featuring Macedonian psionic or psychic researcher Pane Andov. Throughout his life, Mr. Andov, a vegetarian, has had numerous extraordinary encounters with extraterrestrials and unidentified flying objects or UFOs. To share his knowledge regarding such fascinating topics as crop circles, the extraterrestrial hierarchy in the solar system, as well as the coming wonderful and incredible changes to Earth and humanity after 2012, he publishes a monthly magazine called The Sixth Sense and conducts public lectures. In 2006, uh, together with my beloved, uh, beloved uh, uh, wife Svetlana Andova, we started a magazine called uh, Shesto Setil in Macedonian language, or Sixth Sense in English, which dealt with uh, ancient civilization, uh, secret government projects, uh, psionic research, uh, uh, UFO phenomena. We cover a lot, a lot of uh, topics and increase the awareness of people in that region. What about the presence of extraterrestrial life here on Earth? We asked Mr. Andal for his perspective. Some of the extraterrestrials are from other systems, but uh, they are groups of entities that are also living on planet Earth. To the best of my knowledge, we are dealing with more than 3,000 species. So some species are even older than the human species on Earth. There are species that are coming and going all the time, and there are species that are staying for, for, for some time and they leave. There are different agendas, they just avoid the contact with the human species, and they live underground in, in their bases, and they live underwater also. And most of the time they are just uh, avoiding any contact, but we can see from the generated uh, video do uh, documentation and evidence that they are here all the, all the time. Mr. Andov says he has been in contact with extraterrestrials since the age of seven. As the years have gone by, he has developed an ever greater understanding of their messages for the world. I started to, to, to pick up uh, uh, their thoughts and they were guiding me all the way. This image, most of it is on, on infrared. And this is me where I was meditating uh, in the room. You can see the huge entity, huge orb coming from the Sri Antra. As you can see, the orb was just going penetrating through the wall and exiting. Those orbs of light are always, always, uh, always there uh, following me. So this is a, a, a seminar that I, I was doing in Melbourne recently. As you can see, the orbs are always following me. Here you will see the intelligent movement of one uh, flying. That's the interesting part was that uh, as soon as uh, I was uh, able to tune into the, 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 the frequency that I was able to, to transmit and, and receive uh, data. Pane Andov says that beings from other realms have informed him that the period from December 21, 2012 onwards marks the end of an age and the beginning of a new magnificent and wonderful one. He has been told that there will be a fantastic change in human DNA that will lift our collective consciousness to a higher level. What will prompt the amazing transformation is a tremendous amount of energy coming from the very center of the Milky Way galaxy that will arrive in our solar system at the end of 2012. This is my purpose here. I, I was... Uh actually in a position to to communicate with these intelligences directly like we are communicating now and many of those uh, uh, messages are directed to the to the closing of the cycle and what we need to do because there is a, a extreme energy that is coming our way from the from the galactic center Mr. Andov advocates that humanity pay close attention to crop circles as they contain much information about the spectacular changes ahead for people on Earth. 
when uh, I started to, to work, uh, particularly on the decoding of the crop circles, I started to experience uh, a direct contact with, uh, uh, with the extraterrestrial intelligence that is making uh, the genuine crop circles. So there is a difference between the man-made ones and uh, the genuine crop uh, designs. And uh, for example, with the, with the main main uh, crop designs uh, the plant is broken most of the time by the by by the physical force to the best of my knowledge more than 30000 uh, crop circles uh, are delivered in the in the last uh, uh, 20 years or so many of those are not discovered but the military satellites actually uh, are picking them everywhere and they are actually recording uh, those uh, 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 images trying to decode the messages behind them. In most uh, occasions, those crop circles uh, are appearing very close to the Asian horses, white horses, like depicted in the, in the image. And as you can see in this image, they're always, always very close to Stonehenge, to some mounts, because those points uh, are, are under uh, something that is active from the time of the Atlantis. There's like a dimensional vortexes that, uh, that exist uh, there. That is why those genuine crop circles are uh, appearing in, in great uh, abundance. Just to, to satisfy the, the skeptic uh, view of this, this is the best what, uh, what man can do with the crop circles. This was uh, filmed in New Zealand, so you can see there is a light that they're using, you can see from, from the left and uh, to create this stuff and it took uh, uh, many hours to produce uh, a crop circle with with this precision but uh, after after this is finished you see they had created a huge mess with uh, footsteps everywhere and uh, the, the the crop is much uh, uh, destroyed and damaged it's it, it just completely obvious that this is done by mechanical force the demonstration didn't match uh, completely what uh, was found in the in the genuine crop circles on many occasions, eyewitnesses have caught sight of balls of light hovering over fields where crop circles suddenly appear. What is the relationship between these mysterious lights and the formation of crop circles? Flying crafts uh, are above the field and they are influencing the crop with electromagnetic or microwave uh, energy. In these images here, you can see where those uh of light actually went through and again in many many occasions those balls of light were filmed everywhere above the 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 field this is the the genuine the genuine phenomenon that we are talking about uh, take for example the research of, of the, uh, dr Eltio hazelhoff his research was about uh, that uh, uh, balls of light are actually creating these crop circles. He proved that uh, this crop found inside the, the genuine crop circles is uh, acting uh, uh, particularly in that way, like you have a, 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 a light bulb in the, in the room and uh, just beneath uh, the, the, the light uh, bulb, the, the source of the light is strongest. So that's where the crop is, is growing, uh, is growing uh, uh, higher. Dr. Hasselhoff has published a paper on crop circles in the internationally recognized science journal on plant biology, Physiologia Plantarum. Dr. Hasselhoff's work was peer-reviewed by other scientists before being accepted by the journal for publication. He had explained uh, perfectly uh, about this phenomena and this paper was, uh, was actually examined by the scientific community and it was accepted that some of the crop circles are created by, by a boss of light. This is the real research that this, this crop, uh, this, this uh, plant was, was bent at almost 90 degrees, just split of the second. And also the crop grows uh, 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 bigger and is getting more healthier. Some of those uh, crop, uh, crop circles are uh, uh, impressive. They're extremely big, right? And this particular one appeared in the middle of the, of the storm when it was raining. It's amazing. If you're uh, telepathically uh, uh, sensitive, you will immediately feel the energy coming uh, from, from these uh, crop circles. The other thing that is very interesting that with the genuine crop circles, uh, once that you go inside with the... With the uh, uh, 
compass, the compass will start to expel faction. A question that frequently comes up with regards to crop circles is why the messages are not simpler to understand and why this particular communication medium is being used. Mr. Randolph says that this is because during US President Dwight D. Eisenhower's administration in the 1950s, a treaty was signed between certain extraterrestrial groups and the USA concerning science and technology exchange. So in this treaty there was a line that no other extraterrestrial group is allowed to directly interfere which means uh, no direct overtook of the television signal no direct uh, overtook of the radio signal and no direct uh, appearance uh, and changing the course of how or where the humanity is heading those groups that are, are willing to help are writing directly to the earth that is why they're creating crop circles. They're not uh, writing in, in English, but they're writing in the cosmic language, in cosmic mathematics and, and geometry. And uh, the idea is that a, a certain uh, amount of people are open to this uh, information and they're following the crop circle phenomena and are working on uh, decoding the messages. So still the message will, will go through. So this is one indirect way of communicating. and. Uh, most of the crop circles are pointing towards uh, the end of the cycle and the importance of certain things that people need to understand. Supreme Master Ching Hai has given the world great insight regarding the activities of UFOs and extraterrestrials on Earth. As in this October 3rd, 2010 video conference with Supreme Master Television staff in Los Angeles, California, USA. One of it is uh, to help uh, to promote peace, yeah? promote peace, and stop war, yes? They yes. also stop uh, comet to hit us, etc., etc., yes. So you see many times we heard wow. that the comet almost hit the Earth and then it's, it veered to the other direction, into the space, harmless space, yes, so it didn't harm the Earth. Yes, yes. yes. They also heal many sick yes. people, wherever they can. Yes, whenever they happen to have a chance to do that. Wow. And uh, they also soften warlike aggression. Yes, and trying to oh. induce people into a more peaceful state of mind. Yes. So uh, their activities are so many. So Andov, we salute you for helping the world gain a better understanding of extraterrestrials and their messages for humanity. May you successfully continue your benevolent work, including the sharing of your vast metaphysical knowledge with others. For more details on Mr. Andov, please visit www.panayandov.com. DVDs and books by Mr. Andov are available on the same website. Esteemed viewers, Thank you for your presence today on our program. Words of Wisdom is coming up next after Noteworthy News. May we always appreciate the beauty of the universe. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.